Hello everyone, now let's see how we can install the Cisco Ice in EVNG. As we already discussed, we can install Cisco Ice in GNS3, EVNG or VMware Workstation. Okay, so let's see EVNG. We can install in 3, that is GNS3 also, GNS3, EVNG and VMware Workstation. Okay, but I recommend if you use the Cisco IS in VMware workstation that it will be very good because it will be working good in this VMware workstation little fast compared to EVNG and in GNS3 it is creating some issue so better not install in GNS3 if you want you can use in EVNG or better to use in the VMware workstation anyhow we will see how we can install in EVNG and we can use we can do some lab then we can install in the VMware workstation also okay so you can download this EVNG image we have different version we can use any version concept is important we learn we need to learn the concept later when you have the idea everything is good you can do same steps will be there for the other version some more options some more different tabs will be there so no issue later we can do the new version also and the other version whatever up upgrade version is coming and we can upgrade the old EVNG that is old ICE image to the new uh, new version ICE image also no problem okay later we will see that one now I am going to show you how we can do in the EVNG so first thing this is a EVNG I hope you already know how to install the EVNG if you don't know you can look our CCNA series uh, we already shown there how we can install the EVNG or in our EVNG in our YouTube channel also we have the playlist how we can use uh, install the images in the EVNG okay so EVNG this is already installed everything is ready here only one thing you need to remember whenever you install and whenever you done the EVNG you have by default you will have the here maybe the uh, memories will be 4 GB something it will come and you have only 50 50 GB as a hard disk so what you need to do you need to increase the hard disk directly if you increase this hard disk then your EVNG will not work it will create the issue so what we will do we will create one more logical hard disk don't worry I created with 300 GB even if your hard disk physical hard disk even your physical hard disk is not having 300 GB just you need to write here 200 or 300 GB no issue it is a virtual so no need to worry even if you don't have that one let me show you how we can create see here what I, we need to do because the image size of EVNG is having 15 GB and it will not work if you see I have this one also let me show you how what is the image size for this one it is a 13 GB and I have another one also later you can uh, whatsapp us uh, so we can discuss the size and how we can download this one if you see for 14.2 GB this one okay so what we can do we will go here you can edit the virtual machine and you can select this hard drive here and you can say click add and you will have this one you will click next and you will select by default whatever option is coming by default option and here also you will select this option here okay and here you give 200 here okay this is virtual even if you want to give 300 if you have physical hard disk maybe you have 100 GB no issue you can give here 200 GB 300 GB no issue this is only virtual okay so what I done here I created 200 if you want you can create 300 also no issue and you need to keep like this store here store virtual disk as a single file this one and then press next and it will come just you need to finish okay if you see here I have another hard disk also here but if you have 50 by default 50 GB will come just create one I created this one just to show you this one and I, I created this one before okay so no issue just you need to create so you will have the extra hard disk that's all after that we will create uh, click ok so we have here now we need to install the EVNG so I will click this one it will start our EVNG and meanwhile as we know we are going to use the WinSCP to load the image you can use the TFTP FTP application also but WinSCP is good and easy to use so we will use this one and here if you see when I use the WinSCP I am getting the login detail we need to get the IP so let me close first of all this one and close and let me check what is my IP what I am getting so I will put that IP to load the image 
if you see this is my ip 192.168.2.100 okay let me write here this ip in the browser i will write this ip whatever ip i am getting 192.168.2.180 okay so i can access the evng admin and eve is a password already we know this one okay so now let me close this lab this lab i have another lab let me close now i will go here i will go here in the eyes okay and here i can create any lab already i have image but anyhow let me create new lab i will give here uh eyes lab basic you can give any name just i give any name and if you see here i already have the image and but anyhow i am going to show you how we can load also let me show you i s e eyes i have this image okay which version i have i have two version 2.2 and i have 2.7 both i have okay but anyhow i will show you how we can load we already first requirement is we need to upgrade the hard disk we upgrade already and now we need to open the vnscp i will open the vnscp when we open the vnscp it will ask me the ip address our ip which we are using is 192.168 this one so i will write 192.162.180 and root is a username i will click edit and i will write here password is e root and eve eve okay save and okay and login and here it will ask you write again eve and press okay it will open then you need to go in the part opt unit lab add on qmu in the qmu folder you need to drag and drop example if i have this image okay if i have this image just i need to drag this folder and drop here and it will take some time it will load and it will come here so i already drag and drop this to 2.2 and 2.7 here so when we drag and drop it will come here it will take some time you need to wait and then after that you need to apply the permission command first you need to log in this one we will write root and then eve press enter this is a login detail i did not change whatever login detail is given here by default we will use the same okay this is the root and this is a eve so with this one i log in now we need to apply the permission command when we copy that one we need to put the permission command if you don't know you can go in the google and write permission if eve permission command okay you can write this one like eve just now i get eveng permission command so we can go here we can type here and go in the faq of the eve and if you see here we have the permission command here let me check where we have here this one if you see this is the permission command okay we will copy this one okay we will copy when we copy any image in the evng we need to put this one how we will put click here then go to edit and paste this one and press enter okay when we press enter it will take some time and it will it will be okay so what you need to do whenever you copy any image from your local hard disk to this hard disk you need to just put the permission command and minimize this one and you can go here and let me close this one this is our dashboard i will click right click and i will click node and here i can write eyes it will come here i will click this one it will take 8 gb ram okay you need to have good ram what we need to have uh, let me show you how much ram i have in my machine let me show you first of all my ram let me take my computer or this computer and go here right click and the property if you see here uh, my ram is 32 gb okay in my laptop i have 32 gb ram so what i done i assign the 16 gb ram to the evng and the image which i am going to use this image is going to consume the how much ram let me show you ice image ice this one if i take this one it is consuming 8 gb ram 2.7 if i take this uh, 2.2 it is also consuming 8 gb ram you can reduce but it will not work properly some you can try maybe you can put 4 gb ram and check it is working or not but recommended to keep the standard whatever we are getting so if you see 8 gb ram is going to consume we have one uh, interface here and whatever we have default setting i will keep same as it is 
I am taking now 2.2. Okay, if you want to use 2.7, we can use 2.7 also. Let me take 2.7. In 2.7, we can set up the password also. Okay, so I will click save. It come here. Now I need to take the NAT cloud. Why I am taking NAT cloud? Because I want to connect this one to my my machine, my computer. So I can use the browser to access that one. So I will go in the network, and here in the bridge, I will take the management cloud. many guys is not getting this management cloud okay if you are not having the management cloud option in your evng this one try to install the new version of the evng in the old version we are not getting this one okay many students are complaining they don't have this management cloud so try to download the new evng from the evng website that is free so you will have this option okay so what i will do i will select this one here and if you want to rename this one we can rename MGMT means management. Yes, I am giving this one. So this is the management cloud. I will connect to the IC here. If you see, IC is having this interface G0. I will keep this G0. And now I will start this IC. I start the IC, and it will take lot of time. Okay, it will take lot of time. If you want, I will double uh, double click so it will open here. And if you see here, <coughs> it will take lot of time. We need to wait. we need to wait first time it will take lot of time and uh, we need to set up the ip so we can access with the ip so what i can do i can pause the video till it will load and it will come or if you want let me make little big this one and let me show you if you see here it is still loading okay it is still loading let me minimize i will keep like this it will load it will load it will load it will come some uh, later it will come the login set up uh, set up set up the login detail it will come then we need to put the login whatever new login we want to give okay it will take time it will take time okay let's see it came or still it will it will take maybe it will take 30 minutes nearly so when you are set uping you need to be be careful don't worry what happened something go wrong like that nothing you need to wait at last you will have here login detail so you need to login first time you will have this issue okay that's why i am using in the vmware workstation so i will show you how we can install in vmware workstation also so we can use there also okay but if you set up one time here in the evng it will work no issue so i will pause the video because it will consume lot of time it will take lot of time so i will pause the video once it come i will start that one okay if you see now it came only within 10 minutes depending upon your ram and your processor speed it will take lot of time now it came within that 10 minutes okay you will have like this option let me make zoom you will get like this what we are getting here please type setup to configure the application okay local login we are getting like this so what i will do here i will type here just click here and type here setup okay set up and press enter set up and press enter it is still loading you will have some issue you need to wait and you need to type that one okay Pre please type set up to configure the application so here i am selected i am pressing the tab and i want to write the set up it will take some time we need to wait okay so it is taking long time so what we will do we will uh, do this lab in two recording in the two video okay so what i will do i will stop this uh, video we will have one more video in that one we are going to continue okay